I have hooked up some motors with wheels on them to my maker bit. The green thing there is a motor interface. I can run two motors at a time. Uh, these are bi-directional motors. They can go forwards or backwards, which means I can only plug in two of those at a time. Supposedly, if you have unidirectional, one-directional motors, you can plug in four. But again, you can only run two at a time because of the way the pins are used, because of the way the power, things like that. Um, I actually was just running this um, with, a, with an old battery, and man, it kills the battery really quickly. Um, they take power. That's the whole point behind not having just three volts going to this thing. Uh, they, we got nine, so it's good for you to get. If you don't like the nine volt batteries, you want to use double A's, get those power packs with the barrel uh, connector to do uh, four to get six volts or six to get nine volts. Easy connection, easy coding. Again, you have to add the maker bit um, extension. And in the maker bit extension, there's a motor thing. And there we go. Run motor at speed. And then pick a number. Um, stop motor for in your code. And then set motor rotation forward if uh, you want to get things initialized for, some, for certain things. And all I did was, um, again, LED, you know, enable that. Disable that LED, set all pins to low just as a setup. I think this is, these are using pins 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 11 is I think part of the, either, it's either button B. Um, so it's a good reason to, to get rid of all that um, other stuff. I might not have to get rid of the, um, the 5x5 array because pin 11 B and B, that's not part of the, um, array. I'd have to look, we'd have to look and see if uh, any of the 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 are part of that array. Um, and then I set the numbers. Now I thought this was actually going to be in um, base 2, so it would go like 0 to 255 or 0 to negative 255, but it's decided it goes from 100 to negative 100. And that just seems odd to me that they did that because I thought they were going to do it just with the, you know, the base 2. So. Um, that's the code to run a motor. Now let's plug it in. We're going to do this one-handed. And... So that's with a fresh pattern. Going pretty well. Um, how long they la how long that how that does on the floor with a a uh, robot on top of it? I don't know. That's what you have to find out. You know, no load versus load, um, low torque, high torque, those kind of things. So there's motors, pretty easy hookup. Um, some motors uh, do not come with the wires already on them, but they'll just come with two um, copper connectors. If you don't like the direction your motor is going, all you have to do is switch around which port you have the black and the red. You can do that. So, there we go. Motors! 